we are going to leverage human nature by taking some brain chemistry and turning it into referrals. So the whole idea here is saying, how does a human being work naturally? And based off of that, are there ways that we can better build that bond and trust so that they remember us after those 12 months and so that they refer us more often and so that we're top of mind when they hear somebody else talking about real estate because like we saw in the chat right from the beginning sounds like all of you prefer those referral leads much more than chasing down the internet leads so the science behind this So psychology has shown that people just have a natural desire to be seen, heard, and understood. It's just a part of who we are. And they've also, studies have shown that oxytocin, which is a chemical in the brain that gets released, uh, creates bonds between people. So this is the type of ke the chemical that gets released and creates bonds between family members, friends, romantic partners. They've, they've studied this, they've tracked it, and this is a key element to it. And so when you make somebody feel seen, heard, and understood, like you do in a lot of those relationships, the brain releases more of oxytocin, which establishes uh, that bond and trust between you and that other person. That's the science behind it. So how do we leverage that science in order to build those better bonds and trust? So we've seen success with a four step process. And I'm gonna give you an overview here. And if you'd like to dive deeper into this, we're, we're planning on doing that in a separate event. But if it's something that interests you, just go ahead and put the word trust in the chat, if you feel like a deeper dive into this four-step process would be something that you would be interested in learning more about. So feeling seen, step number one is helping people feel seen through consistent, valuable, and personal contacts using the $20 million referral program. So using that plan that we showed at the beginning and a lot of these activities that we're talking about. And that happens with all of your you know, non-active clients, your sphere of influence, as well as your active clients. Now, when we have active clients, we wanna make sure that they feel heard using three specific tools. One is proactive listening, mirroring, and then labeling. We also wanna make sure during that process of working with them that they feel understood. And to do that, we use what we call RE or real estate empathy, side-by-side -side guiding, and then going for that's right. And then lastly, and it makes a lot of sense for number four, the last impression is a lasting impression. And this is based on the science that going through a whole event, people don't remember all the specifics of it, they remember the most intense emotional portion of the event and the ending. So how do we design that ending to make a lasting impression? So those are the four steps. And like I said, we'll dive deeper into that in another event. You can start to think about those things already and kind of get a sense for where we're going with that. But we'll give you ideas, steps in that process, definitions of each one of these tools and how you can implement them in your business in a later event. So that's great. So I got a few folks. All right. We got lots of you interested in, in that. So thank you. We'll make sure that we get it on the schedule and share it with you.